In this video, I will show you how to create a simple table in Microsoft Word. In front of us is an example of a table that lists children's books. It is made up of columns, rows, and cells. A column goes from top to bottom. This is a column of titles, a column of authors, and a column of comments. Rows go from left to right. This is a row of information about one book. This is another row. Each rectangle or each box is considered a cell. So all the world is one cell. Author, that's another cell. So each rectangle is considered a cell. Now I'll show you how we create this table. Open up Word and you'll get a blank document. Along the top where the tabs are, you would go to Insert because we want to insert a table. So click on Insert, Table, which is right below it. Now you will get a drop down, and this just asks you how many columns and how many rows do you want in your table. So right now I only want three columns and two rows. This can be changed later. So now that I have my rows and columns, I can start typing in my information. As I type in, I'm just hitting the tab key on the left side of my keyboard to move from cell to cell. I'm going to hit tab again to get to that first row. Tab again for my comment. Tab again for the next row. It automatically pops up. Now this is a basic table that you can create and this is usable. What I'd like to do now though is just show you how you can make it look a little bit nicer. First thing I'm going to do is make my titles look a little bit nicer. I can highlight the whole first row by holding down the left mouse key and dragging the whole row. Or I can use the arrow on the outside of the table and just click and that will highlight the whole row. So once I have the whole row highlighted, I'm just going to go and use my regular fonts and change my font and change the size of my font and maybe even make it bold. And I'm going to center that. Now let me just do the same thing for the other items. I'm going to highlight them all or I could have highlighted them all by being outside of the table, left clicking and dragging. And I'm just going to change them to a different font and a little larger. If I want to change any of the sizes of my column, for example, my comments, I can make this column a little smaller. I would just bring my cursor up to the line between author and comments. My cursor will change into a double arrow, a right and left pointing arrow. Once I have that arrow, I can hold my left mouse key down and then drag to the right and that makes that column a little smaller. I can do the same thing for author and title. Go, be, go to the line between the title and the author, get the double arrow, hold the mouse key down, and drag. Now I can also make my table smaller if I don't want it this big. I can go to the left side of the table, get the double arrow, and drag it just to make it a little bit smaller. At this point, if I'd like to add some more rows, I can. If I just click into the last cell of the last row and hit my tab key again on my keyboard, I'll get another row. If I want to add a title of a book between these two book titles, I can highlight one of the rows. So if I go to the outside of the table, get the big arrow and click. And now if I go into the blue area and right click, I can say insert a row above. So these are the options I have, row above or row below, and I'll say row above. That actually entered in a row. If I decided I 
don't want this row right here, I can highlight it, go inside of it, right click, and I can just delete that row, delete row. Okay, so that's a real simple way to create a table and to make it look nice and make it usable. The next video will have information on how to format a table even more.